Hey everybody, welcome back to our video tour exploring some of the features found in Craft CMS. In this video, we're going to take a look at something very specific called the focal point in your assets. Now, if you've seen any of our other videos, you'll know that assets really relate to any file that you might upload into your site. So these could be images, documents, videos, icons, all sorts of different things. But to demonstrate the focal point, which applies to images, let's go and take a look at some entries. So I'm back in the Happy Lager demo site, which is provided by Craft. You can download it for free at demo.craftcms.com. And I'm going to click into a particular entry and take a look at it using the live preview feature to demonstrate how focal points work. Now, if you have images that might be used across the site, sometimes they might not scale very well, depending on where the image has been used. Sometimes you might not have had a chance to prepare an image prior to uploading it into the site. So this is where the focal point can become really useful. So as you can see, we have a header image on this particular news entry. And in the sidebar, I have my edit window. So I'm going to double click on the image and this pops up the edit menu. Now, as that asset opens up, you can see the focal point, which is denoted by this little icon in the middle, that's already been set and it's pretty much center in the image. Now I can switch the focal point on or off just by clicking the focal point button in the top left hand corner. And then I can pick up the focal point and drag it around anywhere within the image. And that's gonna designate the focal point that the browser is gonna set the center of the image to as best as it possibly can. So to show this as an extreme, I'm going to move our focal point right down to this lower left hand corner and click save. I could choose to save this as a new image and bear in mind that if I set the focal point on this image that is used elsewhere in the site, I'm also going to be setting this reference point for future image placement wherever the image is used. So bear in mind, I might want to save that as a new asset, but for the purposes of demonstration, I'll just save this as it is. Now, because we're in live preview, straight away you can see the impact of changing the focal point. The whole emphasis of the image has moved towards that lower left hand corner where I've set the focal point to be. Let's try this again. So I'll go back into edit. I'm going to pick up my focal point and this time I'm going to drag it right up to the top right hand corner. Save. So as you can see, the focal point of our image has now moved from the bottom left hand corner up to the bottom right hand corner and we can no longer see the floor in this particular image. Now we can always go back in and reset our focal point if we choose. We can just return to the image, edit it and drag our focal point back to the center of the screen and save. And that's reset our image. Now this is particularly useful if you have faces or people in your pictures. Obviously the browser can't determine where people are within the image, so being able to set the focal point around someone's face means that you can be much more confident about how that image will render, particularly when you check it against the live preview. So the focal point really is a powerful tool that makes working with images in your content management system so much easier.